Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and this morning I woke up with my son's feet under my butt. And that is because my seven-year-old has gotten in this little bad habit of trying to get in my bed in the morning. And for some reason I asked him this morning, why can I sleep straight and my wife sleep straight, but my seven-year-old has to sleep sideways in the bed. And I tried to get him to explain that to me. And of course, my seven-year-old, it's all about him, and so he's not concerned at all about what the why. What's, what matters is that he's comfortable, and so because the whole household has to move in his direction, it's not the other way around. That's kind of how he sees the world, um, is that uh, he's the guy running the show. Um, every once in a while, I like to let him believe that, but uh, it, sometimes I have to also keep him in check. <laughs> Unfortunately... He, he inherited my personality, it's his DNA, it's, and he's, he's a very hard-headed, he's very confident about who he is and what he, what, he thinks he, um, what he thinks he is capable of and what he can do and what he's allowed to do. And it's amazing, I tell people all the time, it's amazing how a certain level of confidence can literally be stamped into your DNA and this kid got it. Well, let me tell you who else got the force. And that's XRP Yoda. XRP Yoda, I talked with him a little bit, and, and uh, he, he, he has sent me so much good information over the last year or so. And so uh, we had had a discussion about him being having a title around the force. Well, the best title that I could think of is to make XRP Yoda the official Jedi of the Digital Asset Investor Channel. But I ran into a problem when I, decided, when I was about to do that. I have no problem with him being an official Jedi of the Digital Asset Investor channel. But the problem, as we saw in Star Wars, is that there is another, as Yoda told us in Star Wars. Well, in this case, the other is Sergeant Obi-Wan. And for this reason, I'm going to declare today Yoda and Sergeant Obi-Wan as the official Jedis of the Digital Asset Investor channel because they have both been so important in contributing to my channel over the last year and a half or so. And so they are now the official Jedis of the Digital Asset Investor channel. Thank you. Okay, um, now this was great. Both of them sent me something as usual today. And so um, this was a great one from XRP Yoda, 2017 level playing field. Now he found, I don't know where he found this tweet, but this was from David Schwartz. I've never seen this tweet before, I don't believe. He says, exactly, we're not trying to force or trick anyone into using XRP. We're trying to build an open system with a level playing field. If we can't win that way, we don't deserve to. Now, that's the first time I think I've seen David Schwartz use that term. We've seen Brad Garlinghouse and some others, and a lot of people, in go a lot of government officials, but we haven't seen David Schwartz use it, and I thought that was very interesting. Um, okay. And next, this one's from Sergeant Obi Wan. Facebook may omit Yuan from Libra Reserve tethers CNH pegged coin. Uh, hmm, this make this is making more sense to me about the global fight for digital assets. Now, the reason, uh, and I, I looked at this article. I'm not going to go into it right now, but um, I'll tell you the gist of it. The gist of it is one of one of the congressmen have, had expressed an interest, uh, an, not an interest, expressed a concern. That uh, that Libra was talking about possibly including you, the yuan in in their basket of currencies that that the Libra coin would be tied to, and so you can kind of see how this is all aligning globally. Um, and Libra's trying to has, is going through all this process of having to satisfy the politicians. So that'll be interesting to watch. Uh, Free American Spirit. Um, at F American Spirit sent me this. Now, this yesterday I didn't go over because I was done with my videos by the time it happened. 
yesterday the Fed Now people had a, um, it was like a slideshow, I believe, and Mr. B had made me aware of it. And so in that slideshow, and I think Alex Jones covered this too. I think he's somewhere in these things here. Yeah, he's, he's involved in the tweet, and I'll show it in a second. But in that, uh, in so many words, someone had asked one of the people on the panel if XRP would be used or something like that. And the way she answered it, uh, she, she said, it, it was in so many words, but it was kind of, when she was asked, it was like she was taken off guard. She kind of waffled a bit. And I think she said no, but it, but it was almost like, and I, I told somebody this, it was almost like saying no would have been easier than having to open the XRP ripple discussion can of worms. And so um, I don't think that what, I don't think we heard a no at all, personally. Um, it says, this guy says, Jim Hyatt says, I didn't hear the word no anywhere in there. I heard back to the, and at this time, alongside some hesitation. This is what I heard too, hesitation and contemplation. It was like she was trying to figure out the right way to say it to not get in trouble. That was the way, the way I heard it. Now, Free American Spirit says she said they would settle in USD, but she was never asked what currency was used to bridge the transaction. Speaking of currencies, she also said other currencies possibly confirming digital assets as currencies. Now, when we go into this tweet, um, and this is, this is how the thing came down. So let's give Alex Cobb credit. If you don't follow Alex Cobb, here's where you can follow him on Twitter. And you need to go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's Alex Cobb. This guy was one of the guys that inspired me to start my channel. Um, and he got this. He, he's crediting Jana one trick. And he, and he was posting, uh, I think he did a video on it. Now, then Al, Mr. B says, Alex, our very own coining 203 asked this question. Everyone should be following this guy. He's triple smart. And I've talked to Mr. B about this, and this guy is apparently a really sharp guy. And so I started following, my, follow him, following him myself. And so let's give him the proper credit because he, he actually asked the question. Thanks, Mr. B. I asked a series of questions. Luckily, one of mine was selected. Will FedNow utilize any form of interledger protocol? Will any technology from Ripple be used? Will XRP, the digital asset, be used? So that's a pretty pretty darn cool that, that that was even pulled in there to be addressed. But I think there's a lot more that we're going to hear out of this because the, this is not done yet. Okay, I want to give some credit here. One thing that has happened to me several times over the course of having this channel, and, and many of you out there, I, I get sent things from all kinds of people all the time. And there are many instances where people get, maybe they get their feelings hurt or they get upset that I didn't feature one of their tweets or something that they did that was really good. And trust me, it is easy for me to either miss something or um, sometimes I won't show something but for other reasons. But usually if you send something good, I'm going to, I'll pick up on it. But sometimes I'm human. I just miss things. And so, and I've seen people sometimes what will happen is they'll, they'll get their feelings hurt. I'll miss something once or twice. And then they'll go to Twitter and they'll say something bad about me. But, I, you know, I'm human. You got to understand it's not that I don't value your contribution. Just understand I can only do so much and I try to do as much as I can. But I'm a 45 year old man. I'm not uh, a young man like some of you out there. I try my best. <laughs> I don't have the best. You know, the most frustrating thing at age 45 is your memory. I was talking to someone at my son's baseball game the other day. It's like you, you think you're the only one that's having these little blips of memory loss, but it happens as you get older. You literally start to just kind of, you'll, you'll forget things that you used to remember and stuff. It's kind of frustrating. Well, this is one of those instances. I had missed I Am Legion talking, ab tying, uh, talking about how Ripple and the technologies that are coming forth will be a tool in preventing, preventing World War III, like I mentioned yesterday. And he did this way back, this was back in 2018 that he was talking about this. Um, one of five, he says, preventing World War III with progress, how to start, how to start off. What, what, what are the reasons for world wars? How do we learn from history and our past mistakes? I don't think that's something that can be solved by 
Now look, so here's some articles he put up. World economy at risk of another financial crisis, says IMF. Um, it, Erdogan um, has limited options to save Turkey from financial crisis. Italy's budget crisis is a bigger threat to the EU than Brexit. You better start, da da da. Argentina's central bank hikes rates to 60% as the currency collapses. So he's posting all these and then he goes back and he says uh, a tweet, I believe one of the reasons, he's talking about what causes world wars. One of the reasons was debt, another was unemployment, the third ideology, nationalism. We're starting to see some of the same problems again. Then he's t showing this from, this is from World War, things that they're talking about what caused World War II. After his rise and takeover of power in 1933, a large part based on the grievances, Adolf Hitler and the Nazis heavily promoted them. And also ideas of vastly uh, ambitious additional demands based on Nazi ideology such as uniting all Germans. Um, uh, and last but not least, the heavy tribute that Germany had to pay in the form of war reparations, which became an unbearable burden after the Great Depression. So Germany became strapped. But all of the, it, it was financial things that, that got Germany strapped, and that was part of the reason that there was a rise of nationalism, was kind of look at what these, look at what they're making us do, and this type of thing. Uh, but it's, but the point is, is that it's, oh, it, it is so often tied to money, finance, which is what causes the problems that create, that turn into bullets flying. And so he goes on, I think that progress can actually be the answer to prevent another global financial crisis and by doing so, end up preventing WW3 by solving the liquidity problem and the debt problem. So I want to give you a heartfelt thank you to every person in uh, the world that's helping progress, working with blockchain, hyperledgers, etc. Anyone who's spreading hope, staying positive, inspires people. If we can go to Mars and see the sunset picture, surely we can solve a debt problem and include people. Um, and, and then he goes on, he's talking about the XRP community and all. But he's, he's making extremely valid points, and that's why I keep saying this is all much bigger. Look around you. Go watch CNBC. Go to, go to Yahoo Finance. Go to the Drudge Report. Look how scary that the things financially that are forming around the world are. And then go back and study history because the world wars did have to do with financial issues. And before you know it, you can be in a really bad situation. Let's talk about that further. Major Tom sent me this this morning and I had never seen it. At Major Tom XRP. Look at this. September 11th. Now remember folks, tomorrow is September 11th and tomorrow is the day that I will be talking about when I was a financial advisor and, and I'll go back through what happened to me and how my life was changed by the financial, uh, by the uh, September 11th and how close that I was to actually being in those buildings when those planes hit on September 11th. I'm going to go through that. Many of you have never heard that story, and I'll tell it again. But September 11th, 2008, between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., someone withdraw, withdrew $500 billion from the banking system, from money markets, triggering an electronic run on the banks, which became the catalyst for the bank bailouts. This is Representative Paul Gonjorski, 11th September 2008, electronic run on the banks. This is a uh, from C-SPAN. Go watch this video and look at, and again, it's at Major Tom XRP. Go watch the video in his thread. And then he says this, no one talks about this. Why? Who has that kind of capital? Market crashes are tools used by the elites to affect massive wealth transfer, political change, financial, monetary, systemic change. September 11th, 2019 will be the 11 year anniversary. Keep an eye on the banks. What I will say about this is the following. Remember what happened as a result that when, when after this is when you saw um, the Secretary of the Treasury go to Congress and get down on one knee and beg Nancy Pelosi for bailouts and all of that. It all happened after this. You have to ask yourself a question. Did a lot of these elites, did a lot of the powers that be do something like this as a tactic to force 
the powers that be to do something like bailouts? You have to ask those kind of questions here. After all I've seen, I don't put anything past the people that are running the world monetarily. But it's interesting enough for us to look at. Michelle Vandenberg um, sent me this, and I just wanted to read this. That's, you, it, it explains itself. The national debt is the U.S. is now more than 10 times the annual tax receipts. You think that's a problem? I think it might be. And then yesterday, um, from XRP Crypto, well, SEC Chairman um, Clayton said progress is being made in the crypto space to allow a Bitcoin to ETF to launch. Clayton acknowledged that BTC businesses are, are coming close to satisfying concerns, but people need to answer hard questions for them to be comfortable. Now, um, folks, if you think that um, he's not starting to talk like this because BACT is getting, BACT is going to launch on the 23rd of September, um, how coincidental would it be if all of the, these powerful government entities like the SEC all of a sudden began, began to come around and give some clarity right about the time that the New York Stock Exchange's crypto exchange BACT launches? Folks, um, if you think that Wall Street and the government entities that regulate Wall Street are two different and separate things, then I've got an igloo that I'd like to sell you in South Georgia. Um, okay, moving along. C3 Nick, dear, uh, this is from Stephen Bull from the DIA. Dear XRP haters, if XRP is truly a shit coin, it will organically fail on its own. You don't have to make videos and write articles to prove how shit XRP is. Save your time, save your life. And then C3Nick says, the more hate there is, the higher probability of success. And that's what I always say. When you're the number one football team, you're, they're coming at you and everybody's coming. Have you, ever, have, you ever, uh, have you ever noticed that a lot of times leading up to a national championship in football, the team that is that is supposed to be the dominant team, a lot of times some crazy piece of news will come out on one of the, like, like the quarterback of the team that's supposed to win and all that, some nasty controversy will come out. It's because when you're on top, people are trying to take you down. That's the way it works. There's a reason that XRP and Ripple are attacked the way they, were, the way they are. Tone, XRP is tone based Worst Tone Vey's worst nightmare. That's why he talks it down. It, there is no other reason. He knows that it's better tech than Bitcoin. They all know it. That's the reason they go at it. They have to. They don't have a choice. Um, Camo and Ammo at Rocky Carter Inc. sent me this one. This is a few years back, but tell me Ripple isn't bringing in some of the best in the industry. Surely there's a reason that some of the top companies definitely big plans ahead in a massive market takeover. This is from a long way back showing some of the, the people that work at Ripple where they have come from. NSA, DTCC, SEC, Federal Reserve, Bloomberg, NASA, Google, JP Morgan, Merrill Lynch, and one that's not on here that we now have is Facebook. I mean, it's crazy. And then this was interesting too from R, R. Schilling, at R. Schilling. Let me make sure I follow this guy. Yeah. Okay, this is so interesting to hear Chris Larson say, like he knows that Wall Street is going is only going to use top five or top ten coins. Listen to how he says it. I believe he knows which ones. This guy's literally asking him, and Chris Larson's pretty clear that he thinks they're going to adopt about the top ten, you know, maybe five digital assets, and that's where this is going because of liquidity. He said to focus in on the ones that have liquidity because those will be adopted. And finally, from XRP General, XRP, at XRP underscore General, um, sent me a little John McAfee update. And today, we get to look at John McAfee playing with his toilet in Dubai, staying on in a top-notch hotel in Dubai. Their AI toilet malfunctioned and tried to attack me. I fought it off with my advanced karate training. And I listened to the video, and it sounds like John McAfee, it sounded like... McAfee had had a couple of drinks, as usual. Anyway, as usual, I'm fascinated by the guy, and one day I'm going to try to meet the guy. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that John McAfee 
is a freaking genius and knows how to tweak the media and he, and he tweaks the digital asset investor almost every day and I love it. Thank you for listening.